Hi Anna, um, my name is Susanna Patterson and I live in Norwich. Um, I'm an artist illustrator, I suppose, <laughs> I was. Um, I just wouldn't, oh, I need to do this quickly. Uh, yeah, um, I agree with so many things people are saying about this plan pandemic. I'm looking into the figures very briefly at the height of this at Norfolk and Norwich Hospital. They had 110 deaths. Two of those had no other serious um, comorbidities. Only two. That's nine weeks. All, most of the rest of them, 95% were over the age of uh, 65 and 80% of that were over the age of 85. I know, you know, old people gonna have more problems with this. But why shut down an entire city? Why stop people's businesses? Why? Well, obviously there's an agenda and I don't think that people are that stupid, um, as some people are. But anyway, um, my idea here is, um, I mean, all of us have had to see a kind of shapeless future. Might have had ideas what we were going to do, holidays we were going to go on. For me, I was widowed last year and I planned it putting an exhibition together of paintings, oil paintings, just dealing with losing. Anyway, so I did, I'd been trying to give myself goals, things to go for, you've got to get back to life. You know, I'd been married 32 years, so it's tricky. So anyway, they came up with sort of paintings, animals, things too, you know, two is, it's like human. Two is like the basis and then all these other people in your family and three children and the other family, all these people. And um, anyway, so we got locked down. My daughter's disabled, she's 22, lives with me. Um, I didn't have anything scary on. She's getting really frightened about. I mean, I just don't have mainstream media on. I kind of picked up little bits from the internet, but not. <laughs> the face masks absolutely terrify her, so I sort of. Um, we just don't wear them. And they said, well, why aren't you wearing one? And they said, because it scares her witless. I'm not going to scare her. <laughs> All her activities, apparently, they don't have. Uh, a statutory obligation to provide services for disabled people anymore uh, from the County Council. So let's see how that pans out. It's one that she only had th uh, four days a week, which are very short days anyway. One of those has gone to the wall because it was a charity, couldn't survive. The other thing I was going to do after this um, exhibition, which I didn't have, um, was take. <laughs> it's my husband, eh? Hey? going to take him over to France to a place that we really loved and d did half the ashes last year and do the other half with our sons, with neighbours, with friends. No, I can't do that. Um, and then just have, go to a festival, take my daughter, we enjoy things like that, you know, it's good. And I can't believe how bloody depressed I look now. You know, it's just not really funny, is it? Um, and, oh yeah. But I did have an idea, I thought, well, they don't seem to give us stuff about people, about what's happening to people, about, you know, the the human cost, the, the physical people. Like my mum went deaf in one ear, urgent appointment, because she fell, she's 88. But, no, the auditory department's closed. Why? 
Why? Oh, oh yeah, that was a good one. They gave her a telephone consultation um, and she's deaf. <laughs> and that was supposed to be her consultation. I mean, if this gets, this is just dystopian craziness. It's ridiculous. Um, anyway, I've come up with an idea. Um, I thought what we'll do, or what I, what we could do, is all of us, you know, they don't care about people. They just don't care. They want to wipe us out. But what they do really don't like losing is money. So we all put a GoFundMe together. We lay, list all our things with the damages that have been caused by this really not very serious virus and we give them a quantum we could call it quantum because they love that word quantum don't they so let's all put a nice big bill in anyway uh humanity is <laughs> deserves a little more respect than we're being given in my opinion and God's not liking it. It's not liking that. Take care. Sorry for the weepy bit. Hopefully, maybe somebody could cut it out. I probably can't.